Hi there guys, hope you're all staying safe. Reaper here back with another painting video. This time around we're doing Fenaten the Giant from Zombicide's Green Horde. The mini has been primed in dark grey as that's all I have. But if you have a lighter primer, I would highly recommend using that as it'll just be far easier to paint the skin. As you can see now, this barbarian flesh is not covering too well. And I do come back and do a second coat afterwards just to finish it up and make it opaque how it should be. Once the second coat is dry, I move on to Magic Blue by Vallejo for his skirt slash kilt type thing he's wearing. It's the only piece of fabric he has. With all the blue finished up, I move on to Monster Brown for all of the leather straps that he has. I do also do the shoulder pad in this color as it's sort of a wood texture from the look of it, just folded over his shoulder. So brown would make the most sense for that.
that would be the brown all done and as you can see i did not do the bulk of his belt um, as i'm using night blue by vallejo on his belt just to add a bit of variety into the color so it's not just brown and silver which is all it would be if i did that Now that the fabrics are all finished, I can move on to the metallic areas. For these, I'm going to be using Gunmetal by Army Painter.
Next up is Uniform Grey for his majestic beard. While that beard is drying, I do grab some greedy gold and add a bit of variation to those metallics just to break up the silver as it is just a wave of silver and skin at this point. Now I move on to the main highlight of this mini and for that it is Elf Skin by Vallejo and this is for all of the raised areas of the skin leaving that barbarian flesh in the recesses. And that will be it for skin tone. Next up we have ash grey for the highlights of the beard. After the beard I move on to Vallejo's bone white and this is for his teeth the eyes and all of his fingernails. With all of the highlights finished, I now move on to the first wash and that is Army Painter's Dark Tone for everything apart from the skin.
Once all the dark wash has been applied, I move on to Army Painter's Flesh Wash for all of the exposed skin. I do also do a quick wash over the wooden shoulder pad just to add a bit of variation from the leather parts that is done in the same colour. Finally, with all the washes dry, I paint the eyes matte black and I also do the base in matte black. I would recommend leaving this mini to dry overnight though from those washes as he's a big guy and it's a lot of wash going on. That will be it for this mini. He didn't take as long as I thought he would being a big guy, but you can always extend that time by just coming back and doing some more highlights if you have the time to do so. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy guys, and most importantly, don't forget to be kind to each other.